Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and today I am here with my brand new video camera for, that I got for Christmas. Thank you, Mom and Dominic. This is my review of the 2011 dr war drama War Horse. War Horse. After his horse named Joey is sold to the army, a young boy named Albert, played by Jeremy Irvine, not sure who he is, but he was in this film, obviously, <laughs> enlists into World War I in hope of finding him. Finding the horse, of course, that means. Yeah, he goes, oh, the horse, of course, like Ed Mastred. Uh, he goes all over Europe to try to find his horse. When I first saw the trailer for this film, I thought I wasn't too sure about a sappy movie between a young man and a horse. I got bad flashbacks back to Equus with Daniel Radcliffe and his magic wand hanging there in the horse barn. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, you know, by seeing it was directed by Steven Spielberg, that definitely helped. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, it helped it in my book. E uh, not Equus. Oh, Daniel Radcliffe, curse you. War Horse is based off of a play, so a lot of people like the play. Um, I thought this was a pretty good war drama, um, and it does a pretty good job of working on your emotions. I went in and I thought... I'm probably going to end up crying in this film because I'm just that much of a wuss. But luckily, I didn't. It was a miracle. It really is. <laughs> um, luckily, it, it, it's very dramatic, but there are some moments that are a little less dramatic and uh, a little more less serious, including a funny goose that is co comic relief. Uh, I enjoyed the goose. <laughs> um, Horse lovers. If you're a horse lover and you're like, I must see this movie because there's horses involved. He might be divided. Uh, on one hand, yes, the horses are beautiful to look at and whatnot. But on the other hand, there's a lot of horses. It's a war movie that don't make it out alive. So uh, they don't make it through the whole movie, in other words. Um, so, you know, you might want to, if you're not a big fan of that. Uh, the story is good. Um, although some things may seem a bit far-fetched. Not exactly, you know, <laughs> uh, makes a whole lot of sense, but uh, there are some scenes in this film that you will keep in your memory for a very, very long time. Um, some great scenes in this film. In fact, uh, the human cast, uh, other than the horses, uh, <laughs> And, who, and by the way, some of the horses give the, some of the best performances in this film, too. So, But, you know, what if? <laughs> uh, the, the human cast here are all pretty good, including Emily Watson, not Emma Watson, Emily, uh, and Peter Mullen, who play Albert's parents, Tom Hiddleston, yes, Loki himself is here, as a captain who buys Joey from the family, uh, Neil Arstrup and newcomer Celine Buckins as a grandfather and a granddaughter named Emily. They give good performances as well. Um, Spielberg does a great job behind the helm, as always. No surprises there. Um, War Horse has been nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Motion Picture Drama, and uh, I'm sure it'll be one of the movies up for best picture when the Oscar times come around. I'm sure it'll get an Oscar nod. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's been being, started being billed as one of the best movies of the year. Uh, I'm not sure if I would say that, but it's definitely still a very good film. Therefore, the A-list gives the film War Horse the rating of... Do it. It's a pretty strong do it. You know, um, pretty strong do it. I would say it's about a B, if you would ask me, a letter grade. Just to give you a little more inclination, because I give do it to a lot of movies. So I'm gonna, maybe I'll throw a letter grade in there once in a while for the do it's. All right, so if you want, you can check out War Horse. It is in theaters now. So move your butts down to the theater. Actually, you can gallop. 
yeah, whatever. Uh, just watching this new camcorder do new tricks. It's interesting. I have a box around my head. Anyway, <laughs> so peeps, I will be back with another movie review tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be stupid, and it's gonna be love. You know what it is. So, until next time, don't miss one single A-list second. You can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Check out some of my other videos. You can like me on Facebook. You can follow me on the Twitter. And of course, you can check out this review and every review once I update them on RottenTomatoes.com. So, peeps, until next time, troop. Ah.